I have here with me the director of Sons of the City, Marcus Richardson. How you doing, my friend? I'm good. How you doing? Good, good. Uh, I guess I'll start first uh, by um, asking how the idea for the film came about or what the inspiration for the film. Um, I guess the film was about uh, the inspiration came from just wanting to do a movie. Uh, that was the first inspiration, I guess, is just want, <laughs> just want to do a movie and then thinking about what kind of movie can I make. Mm -hmm. um, then I thought about my environment and um, the stories that I've you know, seen and that are close to me and that would be like um, more authentic for me to write. I guess being such a young writer and director when I did it, I was like you know, 24, 25 when I started. Wow, okay. So, um, yeah, so I, I wanted to do something that I can do and that was close to me and that I knew. And so, um, yeah, that's where it came from. All right, great. Well, you know, I had a chance to see the film and I, I was, you know, really impressed with it. Uh, you know, when you were writing the film, because, it, you know, I, I felt there was an influence from, you know, other films have, have come before it. Uh, was there any concern that, you know, that it, that it would um, be compared to any, you know, other films? Because, I mean, the, in, in my opinion, it... it Felt that there were elements of it that felt kind of like Boys in the Hood, mm -hmm. but you know, if people look at it, you know, a lot closely and a lot more keenly, you know, it's it's a lot different than that. So, was that a concern of yours? You know, when you were writing it initially, um, it wasn't really a concern uh, so much. Um, I felt I was very much uh, writing a movie that was in a genre, hmm. and I think whenever you do a movie that's like in a genre, it's going to be compared to other movies in the genre. Um, I I like to think of it as like say like a if um if a writer director wanted to do like another war movie okay you know? so okay like, uh there's been war movies about world war Two. it's been done to death you know but every director that comes they do like a new take on it a new perspective of the war or you know world war one or civil war or even like a slave movie so to speak right so they had a little ton of slave movies but you know the guy just did 12 years of slave you know to say that you know um I think there's more stories that uh, can't be told within that genre. That being said, I do think, um, yeah, it, it, some, some people might say, um, oh, yeah, you know, it reminds me of another movie. But I do think, like, those movies were very influential, especially to um, people that grew up around my time. Yeah. And so, um, yeah. Okay. All right. So, you know, like me, you're, you know, also a product of Washington, D.C. You know, you went to high school uh, here in D.C. You know, you went to college here in D.C. You went to Banneker. You went to uh, Howard. And, you know, obviously, you know, as you've been saying, uh, the fact that you're uh, are a product of D.C. has a huge, huge influence on, you know, your your filmmaking. Um, do you think that that's going to be, a you know, a constant, you know, going forward? You know, I know it's, you know, to think, you know, that that far beyond. But do you think that that's going to be a constant for you? Or do you think that, you know, you'll step out of that wheelhouse and, you know, try some other things? Um, I think um, as I as I grow and if I have another chance, I do one. I, I do have a connection with the city. Um, I love like, you know, the way it looks is architecture, especially like, um, and, you know, just the people and the stories that come out of it. I do think, though, that I've grown a lot as an individual since I made that movie. So I don't feel like I would be so confined to um, what I know so much. I mean, you know, at least all what I'm so familiar with, what I'm intimate with. I think that, um, you know, as, a, as an artist, I've grown and I can, you know, dabble in things that aren't, um, that I don't have so much uh, immediate connection with. Um, but I do think, though, that I am a um, director that very much feels that um, that I should write what's what what I know, or write what's um, or write what's write what's immediate to me, or, or that I have a connection with. And I do have, a, you know, as an African American and as a you know person of color, I do have a co connection with you know with my community and my history and stuff. And I do feel like it's important for um some people to like to uh document that in art in in a way that is um it's not non stereotypical so to speak. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, absolutely. Uh so, you know, you have this film, you know, about to have its world premiere at uh at the D C uh, Independent Film Festival. Are you gonna continue, you know, the the film festival circuit with this film or are you gonna, you know, dive right into your next project, which I understand is a, a documentary, right? Yes. Well, I just finished the documentary, um, but uh it's um it's not so much as mine as um other projects that I've worked on, so I'm kinda at the behest of someone else and gotcha. <laughs> and whenever they feel like it's uh, you know, there it's it's time to do that, I'll do that. I'm gonna push this until I um 
until uh, it can't be pushed anymore, I guess, and then go on to the next. I definitely want to use this to show that, hey, you know, I have some idea of film, you know, I've done it before, so if I want to do another project, you know, it might be easier to get um, more uh, backing, so I don't have to do it myself any anymore and use, you know, and um, so I do know it's very difficult in the film world. I know that, uh, you know, um, finding money for films and getting things like that is very difficult. So I definitely, I don't have any um, uh, uh, illusions about having to uh, stay small budget, you know. So I, I do think there is, um, you know, room for another s small budget film somewhere if I just find some people that will be willing to help me. And I feel that this film actually helped me um, un understand what it takes to really make a uh an, an even better movie than um this one. I think this is like a really really good effort. I think it has a lot of really really good parts in it. But I do know that it's a you know movie I made when I was young, and that um you know I'm definitely a better artist now. All right. Well, thank you so much, thank Marcus. You so much. Um, be sure to catch uh, Marcus's film on Thursday, uh, February twentieth, day two of DC Independent Film Festival. I'm Brandon Troy. Be sure not to miss it.